Hey everyone, and welcome to Boston Auto Blog. A lot has changed over the last week and a half since the last video that I did, uh, which I believe was the Audi Q5 review. As you guys know, a lot has been going on, basically self-quarantining at this point. Massachusetts is not on a shutdown mode yet. So theoretically, I could go out and work, but it's not really the most uh, socially responsible thing to do. However, with uh, the state still being open, and being a member of the car community, we're resilient. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna meet up with a few friends, do a photo shoot, uh, and just have a good time. I have to be honest, over the last week and a half, it's been very rough, it's been stressful, it's been depressing, as a business owner, it's not been good. So to take my mind off of this stuff, I think today is a perfect opportunity to just get away, go for a drive, meet up with some good friends, and really check out to see how quiet the city really is these days. Okay, so we are now in Boston. Uh, the car meets on the other side of the city, but I'm really interested to in seeing the city itself. Now, if you guys know me really well, I do not like going into the city at all. I usually avoid Boston at, at all costs, uh, which is why I think some of my friends are gonna get a good laugh at me even showing up uh, for this car meet, because uh, normally, under normal circumstances, there's no way I'd be uh, driving into Boston right now. But traffic, usually there's traffic on the lever connector, and this is what you would typically see on a Sunday morning uh, in the city. There's no traffic, and then even on 93 itself, um, it's not too bad. Very similar to what you would expect on a Saturday morning uh, when I go to Cars and Coffee, particularly down in McLaren, Boston. So we're gonna see how Newberry Street and a few other streets look right now. Now normally on a typical weekend, this would be backed up and there is nobody. Uh, it, this is just surreal. So let's head into the city. This is weird, this is just really weird. All right, so we, we got a few people on the road. It's not, not a completely uh, ghost town, but the thing that, you, that I notice the most though, whether it's right now in the city or um, you know, just outside the city in the suburbs, everybody's out walking or running. All right, so we are now on Newberry Street. <laughs> Oh, it's just weird. This is just the weirdest thing to be driving on Newberry and there's literally no one to the left of me parked. This is just wild. This is really wild. Now, there's a lot more people out on Newberry than I thought. I mean, I think a lot of these businesses are closed. But what it could be, though, is that a lot more people are interested in seeing the city in somewhat of a shutdown and that's drawing more people in. Boylston Street. Oh my gosh, it's so quiet right now. This is insane. Insane. I remember uh, one of the weekends in March of two years ago, there were tons of people on the streets. There's nobody. It's, it's 4.30 in the afternoon on a Sunday and there's nobody out.
this is what it's all about though, seriously. Really just great, chilling out with some great friends. And just getting out in general. Got a nice little group heading into Boston right now. Just gonna chill out for a bit. It's kind of cold along the water, so it makes more sense to just go into the city a bit and hopefully it's not windy further inland. That person over there has a great taste in cars. Another Cornflower Blue GTI. It's a few of them in the city, actually. Super rare opportunity to be on Newberry Street. There's no one around. We can just meet, chill, hang out, take some photos like this one over here. We can just have the car right in the middle of the street. Really fun. So I'm not quite sure what time it is, but just to put everything into perspective. I can walk into the middle of the street of Newberry and not have to rush to go back to the sidewalk. This is just a once in a lifetime thing, definitely by far, but all these stores are closed right here. We got some more expensive uh, stores all cleared out. So just in case if we do get into lockdown, uh, they won't get looted. But yeah, we've got this whole place to ourselves basically. Yeah. All right guys, we are heading home. It has been a really fun day. So glad I got out of the house. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know this is nowhere close to what I've been putting out in terms of reviews, uh, but there's a lot of uncertainty as you guys know. And one thing I do want to say is that the car community now more than ever has been a great way to kind of escape from everything, uh, everything that's going on and just really just a great time being around these people. And uh, one thing I will say is that like with everything else that's been going on, I, I truly appreciate uh, the car community more now than I did say like last year. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know how long the video is, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Also, more importantly, stay healthy, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.